So I had to resort to a different rope. The initial rope at first was to use this mount. I used this plate, plate the chassis with this, relate to that, bought this on with some bolts and nuts, or well, some studs and nuts. But only after drilling out the holes in this, I realized it's plastic. I did not realize it was plastic at first. Thought it was cast or some sort of hardened steel or something. So I decided not to resort to using plastic, especially for a race car on one of the major mounts, especially if it was maybe the roll stoppers, but not for that. So I had to dig up now, look for a different mount. This is an Evo 4 to 6 mount I found there. But this one is a Lancer, maybe a 4G15 or something, not exactly sure what it came off of. I think it was a 4G15 single cam or something. But yeah, so this one hole, I had to drill it open. This one lined up with that hole on the front of the bracket. So what I'm gonna do then is use the hole at the back and build a bracket then to come off of the hole at the back of there or the bottom and come up under this mount then. So two of these bolt holes will bolt to a piece of bracket then that would bolt to the original bracket. Sounds a bit complicated, but I guess when they get to it, it would be able to show what they're doing. So after that is secured onto that, then I will go about plating the chassis again here, then plate it there and plate it up on the wheel well here and reinforce it then and just bring off brackets off of this thing. So I got the whole bracket off of the engine because it was easier to take off your bracket and maneuver around the mount and the bracket than fighting the city engine base. So we got two nuts and a stud and that is way more than enough to hold that. The original bracket was aluminum, this is full steel so we should be on point there so now to just reinforce and plate this part of the chassis and build these straps now to basically hold this mount into position.